All right, guys, even here, and just like I predicted, this is your Toronto Pro top three. Of course, everybody knew this pretty much. That is Ian Valier, that's Jean De La Rosa, and Josh Wade. All of these guys are on. They are on. They are in great shape. But I would say Ian is going to take this competition. He's just freakier than all of these guys. He's more massive. And now we can take a look at his individual posing routine. So as you can see, this guy is a beast. Whenever I want to describe his physique, I use the word beast. For some reason, he just looks like a beast to me. I think that's a perfect word to describe his physique. And uh, he's on. He's absolutely peeled. Look at the striations on his chest, his stomach. His stomach is tight. Very, very narrow waist. Now let's take a look at his back, his biggest weakness. He claimed that he improved it. Did he improve it really? He absolutely did. You can see. It's looking better. It's looking bigger. It's looking thicker. Everything. Not just back. Glutes and hamstrings as well. But could it use a little bit more work? It absolutely could. It's not perfect. You can still add a lot more density to his back, especially mid-trap area. So it's not perfect, but it's good. It's not bad. It's much better than last year, I would say. It's a huge improvement, for sure. But everything else is just super impressive on this guy. I really like his music. I really like what I see. And I think he's going to take this competition easily. However, John De La Rosa did not disappoint. He brought really good package. He came condition, just like I thought. But will this be enough to beat Ian? I would not say so. The structure of Ian is just superior. Especially the shape of their legs. The quads. Ian's quads are looking much better. From the side, they're close. Ian is very good from the side. He's a very thick bodybuilder. But John is also very thick from the side. And his hamstrings are better than Ian's hamstrings. But you're going to be able to see this once we compare them next to one another. But from these individual posing routines, you can see that they both look great. From the front, I would give it to Ian. But from the back, let's take a look at this. Wait a second. Let's look at his back. Boom. Boom, really good back, really good back, really good symmetry and complete development, head to toe. Not just back, not just glutes, hamstrings, calves, but lower back, spinal erectors are creating a great Christmas tree. The thickness of his upper traps is great. Then now we have Josh Wade, as you can see, great conditioning. Once again, Josh did not fail. He came very, very conditioned. He could be a little bit bigger. I think he's just overshadowed by these two huge bodybuilders, especially by Ian. Ian is just more massive than him. But the conditioning on Wade, on Josh Wade is really on point. Look at the glutes, peeled, peeled, absolutely dry. Dry as they could be, as well as his overall legs and pretty much his whole body. His back is holding a little bit more water than the rest of his body, but still very, very dry and shredded physique. However, his structure is not ideal. So that can hurt him a little, not just the lack of muscle and the lack of fullness, but third place is well deserved for him tonight. I don't think he will place lower or higher than that. What do you guys think? Whatever you think, tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget to do that. But yeah, Josh is bringing it. Josh is bringing it as well, just like he did last week at California Pro. But let's take a quick look at the second callout. So we have James Hollingshead in the second callout. He's out of top three which was pretty much expected. These other guys are just another caliber, I would have to say. This is just second year as a pro for James. He's gonna bring it in a couple of years. As you can see, he has a huge potential. However, tonight, he is not exactly off, but he is not on, really. I mean, he is not super dry, nor he is full. He is a bit flat, I would say. His legs, especially, arms as well, and probably from the back, we're gonna see that. And this guy, this black dude in red trunks on the left, He's looking impressive. I don't know, this guy may even crack the top three in the finals. We'll see what happens. But this dude has some structure. Look at those wide shoulders and huge legs. He's looking great. The other guys, I don't know their names. If you guys know their names, tell me in the comment section below. But I didn't really do my research about this. I just followed the top four at this competition. But now let's take a look at James Hollingshead individual posing routine. I have to admit that I'm a huge fan of James Hollingshead, not only because of his personality and the way he trains as well, but more so because of the structure that he has and the potential that I see in his physique. He just needs to add a couple of pounds of muscle more and to get a little bit crispier. He can crack the top 10 of the best bodybuilders in the world, I believe, in a couple of years, but we'll see if that happens. Great structure, great structure and great conditioning tonight. I would say that he really brought it actually. Now, at this free posing routine, you can see it even better. You can see that he brought really great conditioning. Goddamn, those glutes look peeled. 
he's on. He is on. I believe he will take a fourth place or it's gonna be that black dude, whatever his name is. If you know his name, tell me in the comment section below. But James brought it tonight. He absolutely did. Maybe the judges will shift them around later. Maybe James cracks the top three. Or, yeah, I think that's very possible because he looks really impressive. And now let's take a look at the comparison between the top three guys. So you can see that Ian is in the middle. They all look great, but Ian and John are ahead. I would say that John's legs are a bit weaker, but Ian's upper body is a bit weaker. So now you can see it. Now you can see that John is much better in this front double bicep Way, way better with his upper body. It's just... Same here, same here. Somehow Ian's upper body is awkward in these poses. But from the side though, they both look great. I think John's hamstrings are more bulgy, bigger. But Ian's upper body looks just crazy thick. He has so much muscle on that upper body. From the side it really looks apparent. And now Josh is in the middle. And I don't think that he is going to be second or first. I believe he's going to be a third place. Yeah, he's well conditioned, but he's not structurally as good as these guys. But right now, I think actually John will take it. Because from the back he looks much better. His upper body looks much better. The only thing that the Ian has is overall mass. Side poses are close. I'd say John's lower body is better in side poses. He has better hamstrings. But Ian's upper body looks better in side poses because of the thickness of his upper body. From the back, John is much better still. So I will change my mind actually right here. And I would say John takes this competition. He is just a better bodybuilder. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, but I just reported it for you guys and it's open for the interpretation. You can tell me what you think, but I would say John first, Ian second, third is Josh Wade, fourth place, I'm not sure, maybe, maybe James Hollingshead. Anyways, you tell me what you think about this. Do you think Ian will win or John? Whatever your take on this is, tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget to do that and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.